Take me through your day. How does it start? How does it end? Uh, as soon as I open my eyes, I am on and working uh, because I wake up at 4 a.m. and we are on the air at 7 a.m. So it is drinking out of a fire hose as soon as you wake up. Um, I'm at home for the first hour trying to get ready, look presentable for the day while also reading scripts, going through the news that happened overnight, making sure that Hoda and Savannah are all set with what they need for the morning. They've got big interviews coming up usually every morning, we hope. Um, and just making sure to check in with them. So that all happens in a really condensed period of time as soon as I wake up. Then we put the show on the air from 7 to 9. Hopefully everybody is watching out there. And um, after that, we then go into planning for the next day. And we just keep going and going and going. Do you feel like you're never off that treadmill? Like you're always on? You know, yes, but also you have to kind of carve out some time for yourself or you can't be good at what you do and I think I'm sure you feel that way too but um, we're always working on the show always trying to bring the best new ideas book good interviews but you know you got to step off the treadmill a little bit keep a big perspective on things and and stay creative so you know taking a little time off helps with that as well for the people at home who don't necessarily understand how the sausage gets made what are some of the pitfalls that you face on a day-to-day -day basis well you know I think um, when we're covering the first half hour is such a newsy part of the show and we're always trying to make sure that it's the latest news it's um, giving the viewers that what just happened overnight feeling. And you know that's increasingly harder these days because everybody's got their phones. And so when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you typically look at is the headlines on your phone, especially if you're interested in news. So what we try to do is bring something extra uh, to the show that you may not see on that phone, something beyond the headlines. We have such a great team of anchors and reporters that have that um, you know, real knowledge of the beats they're on and really push to you know, bring something different that you're not gonna see anywhere else. And that's our goal every morning is to bring something on NBC that you know, no one else has. When you leave for the day, and you have a rundown in place. How different is that rundown when you come to work the next morning? It's always different, and that's what you want. I never want to leave at 2 o'clock and have a rundown that stays the same the next morning because that means we haven't adapted. That means we haven't changed the show. The world is moving so fast, and I love waking up and having three or four news stories. It makes it a little stressful, but you know we want, we want the show to be a reflection of the very, up to the very moment. Um, so that 2 o'clock rundown meeting that we have, I hope nothing sticks there. <laughs> It's really easy to sort of just watch this show and get the sense that it's just some anchors at a desk and maybe the occasional production tech you see on, on camera that gets caught in a bump shot or something. But honestly, by your estimation, how yeah. many people do you think have their hands in this pot at any given time? Dozens and dozens of people. I don't want to put a number on it, but we have a massive team. The Today Show has been on the air for 65 plus years. I mean, imagine the history there and this well-oiled machine that just keeps on going. And our job as producers is to just make sure that that legacy is maintained. And so everything from the camera crews to the production assistants, to our graphics teams, to our on-air people, it is such a team effort that we do every single day. And we love it because every single job matters here. And if one person isn't involved, that hurts. And so we, have, we all rely on each other and it becomes one big, crazy, wacky family here. <laughs> What's the favorite part of your job? What oh gosh, um, I love the variety of the job. I love that the Today Show is everything from news to cooking segments. It kind of uh, fulfills my interests, you know, just as a person. I love, I love following the news, and I also love entertainment, and um, I think the variety that I get to look at every day. I love being able to come to the Today Show, and you've got a big newsmaker in the studio in the 7 o'clock hour, and then a massive movie star in the 8 o'clock hour, and, you know, we, we have everything here, and I love the fact that we're live and that we have... We can bring the world to the viewers out there in a way that no one else can. And we've been doing that for 65, over 65 years. So it's a pretty great tradition.